Hi everyone, this is the Photoshop technique. We're going to use this te technique to get rid of the background around Peyton Manning. Um, and to do that, our first step, step number one, we want to duplicate our background. Then we want to add a new layer that's transparent. We're going to call this background new. And we're going to move it down using our lower layer tool and delete the old background. Now we're ready to get to work. We're going to use the scissor select tool. The scissors are intelligent, meaning they will try to follow the curves on Peyton Manning's body. So we're going to zoom in here just a little bit so you can see. So we're going to go up to his armpit and notice it's drawing a line following the curve of his body. Again, another line along the curve of his body. I'm going to go along his arm, up to the football. Notice it's trying to follow the white in here. You might want to add another dot so that that curves outward around the ball. The ball is going to probably be a little choppy because we've got very similar colors in the background as with the ball. work our way around the ball around Peyton Manning's hand around his wrist through the rest of his arm go up his shoulder pad and we'll go see how it does did a pretty good job following the white of his helmet. Still nice job around the white. We're going to go up around his chin strap button. Using the scissors you may need to go back with the eraser tool to do some cleanup work. Um, using the path tool is a little bit um, more effective. You'll end up not having quite as many choppy areas, but it takes a little bit longer than the scissors. So we're going to work around his elbow, as, excuse me, his shoulder pad on this side. Trying to follow the blue there, we'll add another dot around his arm. back down to his midsection. And now here's a really important point when we we want our last dot to be the same as our first dot. So we're going to hover over the first dot, hold down the control key. Notice you have a union symbol above the scissors right now. Press our mouse and that just unified the entire selection. Our last step is to click in the middle of Peyton Manning, or not last, but our last step in the crop process. And it's going to give us the marching ants around Peyton Manning's body. So it looks like we have all of his body. Um, we are now going to um, cut him out. So we're going to go edit and we're going to cut Peyton. There he goes. We're going to add a new layer that's transparent. We're going to call that Peyton. and we are going to delete the old layer with the background turn our selection off and we're going to paste and there's Mr. Manning we're going to say take this floating selection and anchor it and if we zoom in we'll see a few little spots like here and here where we might want to use our fuzzy select tool and do hit delete, do a little cleanup. Take it back out. So there you have it. We could crop in using our crop tool. And we have a nice picture with a transparent background of Peyton Manning. That's all. Last step would be to save it as a PNG.